frozen zoos, a glimpse into the future, London hedges ground with a desalination plant, and Sarah Palin shocks environmentalists with a new low. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Tuesday, June 8th. With news that the Gulf oil spill could result in the brown pelican being put back on the endangered species list, a frozen zoo in New Orleans could offer an unorthodox solution. Audubon Nature Institute is storing the genetic material of thousands of animals, from frogs to tigers, on ice. Sperm, eggs, embryos and skin cells have all been frozen and stored in liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees centigrade in order to recall the DNA later and revive a species through cloning. Let's hope that not all zoos of the future will be quite as chilly. Now, here's Carl Burkhart with TechWatch. Many of you will be surprised to learn that dark and rainy London is actually in the midst of a very serious drought, and now the city is hoping to hedge dwindling water supplies with a new desalination plant. Initially fought by environmentalists, the Thames Gateway Water Treatment Works was officially opened last week in London's Beckton District, along with assurances that it will be the most energy efficient to date. The plant will use tidal river water with an 85% conversion to drinking water, and it will run on renewable fuels like fish fry oil, which in London is an abundant resource. Thanks, Carl. And finally, while the nation is under siege by BP's oil gusher in the Gulf, Sarah Palin has announced it's all the fault of radical environmentalists who want to protect areas like Alaska's wildlife refuge, stating that their misguided nonsensical radicalism is forcing BP to take to the high seas. Well, at least one thing is clear. Palin has mastered the art of projection. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.